All right, I was going to do a video to uh, explain why I hate the 500 Magnum. And before I get into it, I'm going to explain why I got it. And I should do I, what I do like about it. I had to get out of the field there because it was so windy. So I would get back here. So if it's still windy, I apologize. Anyway, the 500 Mag, it, it's not that bad to shoot if you're shooting like 300 grain bullets or something. It's not bad at all. Eh. We shoot the 700 grain bullets. Yeah, that's when it sucks. Uh, I got this gun. I was still in high school, I think. I actually got my dad to uh, get it for me. I always worked hard and hustled, make money, whatever. And I, I paid for that myself in high school. It was expensive. I don't know. What was a fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars? So, but it was so cool. It was just the novelty of it, especially when it came out. It's still cool. I mean, it's 500 mag. It's like I have to have that gun. And actually, I had a joke there comparing it to a, a, a girlfriend or something, but I know there's some kids that actually watch this, so I tried, to, tried not to do anything bad. Like, I'll compare it to taxes. You know, when you first turn 18 and you get a job and you're excited, you're like, oh man, I'm finally paying taxes. It's good for like the first 20 or 40 times you do it, and then it's like, novelty kind of wears off it's kind of like the 500 mag there it's awesome the first couple times you shoot it then it's like okay this gun really isn't practical it's noisy it kicks hard the ammo is expensive like i said this stuff here uh 107 dollars just two boxes of ammo but since we're talking about this ammo this is underwood ammo this is their jacketed hollow point it's 350 grain uh 1912 feet per second which i mean that's all that's fast for a pistol so compared to this is a 38 special which is a you know pretty big pistol bullet and it, oh that's that big <laughs> that's from earlier I, uh, I don't know when the video is going to go up but i was trying to shoot 500 yards of this 38 special so 38 special and then 500 magnum so i mean that's what's cool about it. like i said this underwood ammo I love them. Uh, their ammo prices are pretty good. I mean, compared to anybody else's, and that's a beautiful bullet. The, the hollow point's nice. So that's their 350. And <laughs> this is why the gun sucks. So that's their three. This is their 350 grain bullet, and then this is their 700 grain bullet. This thing socks to shoot they painted these red from now i don't know why but it's pretty cool i guess so 700 grains man out of uh how fast do these things go it's still impressive okay 700 grains out of a pistol at 1200 feet per second i got my chronograph here so we're gonna see if that does that and what else it can do i'll show you the gun so this is pink lady pretty normal standard little little revolver i guess and then there's a 500 mag <laughs> i got this one because i actually did carry this gun before i didn't want the big long barrel i kind of wish i had both but this thing you know it's just so cool looking so intimidating it's five shot double action the gun it shoots really smooth but you can tell from 700 grain bullets there it the gel it just pushed all the gel out of the grip there you go some more back in there that these grips are totally trash and ruined so i'm gonna get some more so like the like i said the pros on it the the trigger okay let's see here make sure she's empty don't want her going off now it's loud you don't want to shoot with no ear protection so double action i mean that trigger it is it's super nice and even like double action it's a, it's a very nice trigger. Actually, I shot it. Did I shoot two deer? I definitely shot a deer with this. Uh, I think I actually have one of the bullets here I used. I shot it. It was far. I want to say it was about 100 yards away. I hit low. <laughs> I'm not trying to be too graphic for kids, but it uh, its leg. It was a three-legged deer then. It was one of these bullets. This is the uh, Hornaday. I think these are 325. These are very good. These are very pleasant bullet to shoot. So I'm gonna get things set up here, and uh, we'll 
test some speed and got a couple little targets we'll just try them out have some fun okay first up we got the 350 grain follow point it's supposed to be 1912 feet a second I was talking earlier about kids yeah, some of my best memories <laughs> shooting guns with dad and stuff and I always have my boy out here but he's a little under the weather today but I was watching on YouTube there's a couple uh, Autumn's Armory probably you guys already seen it but I just started watching them it was uh, maybe I'll link their page in there if you didn't see him already but it's a father and a daughter and she's how old is she like five six but she's so cool man she's out there just shooting guns and stuff and that's what I love just getting out and having fun so what's that 350 grain 19 12 feet a second something like that hopefully my chronograph reads because anybody seen my videos know this poor thing's been through a lot so let's just see if it works Thirteen ninety six. Hmm. Let's try one more. These are so expensive just to freaking shoot like that. Let me try something real quick. Let me get something set up. Hold on. Okay, I got my two by four set up from like a previous video I did. What is there? One, two, three, four, five. Six. There's like ten two by fours. So, I have a feeling chronograph's gonna go down on this one. Let's try again. It was 1396, 1400 feet a second. That's a big difference between 19. Let's try out again here. 1462. So, yeah, there it is. Underwood. I don't know, man. You guys need to step it up because. See, 12, uh, 1912, 1462. So, it's right around 14450. There's a number on the 2x4 there. I'll show you real quick. Okay, this is their 700 grain. This is some kind of high-tech coated. Mm. So they're saying 12 or 1,200 feet a second. Let's see. I'm pretty disappointed in them. I don't want That's a pretty big difference, you know. I'm no rocket surgeon, but I think that's a little bit off. Kind of disappointed. There's no way that these will go. I don't know. Let's try it. Because this is why I do not like this gun. Because of these bullets. These things kick so hard. Alright, yeah. Right there. Uh, 962. I'm not shooting anymore because I hate them bullets. Let me kind of feel left. Yeah, screw it. We'll shoot one more. Oh, my battery's about to die too. That's cool. It's so cold out here. All right. One more. Try to hit. I don't know about your back up anymore or not. It might be. I might be part of the problem. Let me let me back that up some. Hold on. All right. I backed it up pretty far. Uh, kind of bad angle there. Let me get over here. I'll see. Uh, that makes a bit of a difference. Might just be I was too close. I don't know. <laughs> there goes a poor chronograph. I've seen it before she uh, self deleted there. It was like 950. So, yeah, kind of disappointed there. What's going on, Underwood? Let me go see if I can see it. Okay, well, I mean, I'm 700 grain bullets. They definitely hit hard. Poor chronograph. Poor buddy. There. <laughs> it did say uh, 950. I seen it when I was tumbling, so. Yeah, uh, it's kind of disappointing, man. About 200 feet per second difference on that one. And what was the other one? About 300 feet a second difference? Just saying. Ooh, that's a good shot, though. That's a, that gun, it does shoot accurate. You can see, pow, 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 pow. And then it just, who knows where it went. Cool.